welcome to EWKS, a small school with a big heart. We are a K-11 school of 170 students from ages 4 to 18. Our classes are junior kindergarten, senior kindergarten, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4, grade 5, grade 6, grade 7, grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, and grade 11. At Dr. Willow Keon School, our mission is to promote a respectful and innovative learning community committed to individual excellence, responsible citizenship, and global awareness. That's why we are so excited to be part of the Commonwealth Class Team Project Task. Our teachers try to make our learning as fun as possible. We have volleyball and hockey teams at school. All of our teams are called the DWKS Coyotes. D D W K K S U P R S U S O S O Y A D D W K K S P R E D S U R E S O R E S Go Coyotes! Go Coyotes! Go Coyotes! Go! We are very lucky to have a large culture at our school. So far this year. Two musicians, a dancer, a mime artist, and three plays have visited us in our school. Our hallways are covered with murals and mosaics that the students created alongside professional artists. We have outdoor education programs at our school, and some kids have the chance to go on overnight camping trips in the wilderness using canoes. Our little school, DWKS, is located in a town called Shopping on a small island called Ile aux Allumettes in the western part of the province of Quebec. Even though Quebec is a French-speaking province, we are an English-speaking school in the huge country of Canada, one of 53 members of the Commonwealth. In the morning, the bus picks us up at our homes and drops us off at school. The teachers meet the elementary students off the buses and then take us into our morning classes. In the morning, we have English and then math. At lunch and in the afternoon, we play outside in our yard unless it is too cold. This week, we have spent a lot of time inside because the temperature outside has been minus 30 degrees Celsius and it was not safe to go outside. In in the afternoon, most of our classes are in French. We also have history, geography, science, music, and art. When we are really lucky, like today, we get to go outside and enjoy the natural beauty of our area during gym and outdoor ed. High school students come into the school independently and go to their lockers to get ready for the day. We have a 20-minute advisory period when we listen to the national anthem and get ourselves organized for the coming day. Once a week, we have advisory challenges where our students in each house compete to win points for their houses. We have four class periods a day. Students move around to the room for each of their teachers. We have all the normal classes. English, math, science, history, geography, French, ethics, religion, culture, art, music, drama, and gym. Plus, we have media pop, contemporary world, integrated projects, and outdoor education. Because we have a small school, some students who want to do different courses have to work online. There are two periods in the morning. At lunchtime, students in grade 8 and higher have the opportunity to leave the school. Some go home for lunch, but most visit the local bakery or the convenience store on the corner. In the afternoon, there are two more periods. There is something happening every day after school, usually volleyball. We also have fitness club, destination imagination, and hockey. At the end of the day, our buses pick us up and take us back home. Presidents and vice president election are done by candidate votes, given a speech, and after that, the boxes were reached are to put in a room and you must check off the one of the students to be president and vice president. The council is made up of two people from each grade, known as student representatives. 
and there's a president, vice president, treasurer, and a secretary. Each meeting is with Mr. Schroeder, who also adds to the meetings. President and vice president bring the ideas to the principal and teachers. The secretary writes all the subjects of meetings in the agenda. The student reps take the ideas of the students to the meetings. The treasurer is in charge of the money. The end of the year trip is put together by council and Mr. Schreier, which is brought up by Mr. Fleming and then the governing board. They are very educational and fun trips, which brings happiness to the students of DWKS. Democracy in Canada is important because people get to vote for who they want to be in power. People choose who to vote for based on their election promises and social policies. People should get involved in it because when they vote, they're voting for who they think is right to be Prime Minister. If they don't vote, the right person may not be appointed office. What role are you in the Student Council? I am uh, what was it like to be in the position at DWKS? It's very honorable. Um, it's a lot of responsibility, but it's, it's great. Um, is it easy or difficult to take place in this role? Uh, I think usually it'd be difficult, but I'm lucked out with who I have on student council, so I would say it's easy for me. Do you feel the choices you make are right for the school? Uh, well, considering the school hasn't burnt down yet, I'll say yes to that. Uh, how did it feel when you found out people voted you into this role? I felt very good to know that the people wanted me to leave their school. Just one more question. Why do you look like that? <laughs> uh, because our awesome student council organized twin day today, so I'm trying to look like one of my teachers. And so is my friend Taylor. I'm her twin. <laughs> What's your job in student council? I am the student council secretary. Uh, why did you want this job? Um, I felt it's like the organization job. Like you keep track of all of what we say during a meeting, um, what we need for our say challenges. I don't know. I've always liked, even though I'm not a very organized person, I've liked <laughs> doing organizing things. So I don't know. It appealed to me. Okay. Uh, what challenges do you face on student council as the secretary? Um, like, I feel like sometimes the weight is all on two people to, like, get the job done and plan for things. So, yeah, I feel a lot of stress sometimes. How many years have you been on student council? This is my second year. Last year, I was a class rep. Uh, do you enjoy being a secretary? I do. Um, as stressful as it may be sometimes, I find it really fun. I feel like I'm a part of the school. I organize things that, and like, for kids to have fun. I feel like I'm partly responsible for kids to have a fun year. I don't know. All right, any last question? Would you change anything about student council? No. I think it works well. I don't think it, anything needs to be changed about it. Most mornings during advisory, a group of students who are elected by their classmates student council gather in a classroom and we discuss things to make our school better um should yeah. we have uh, yeah. like people who want to race speaking yeah like that we have a small council so instead of having subcommittees we all take turns and work together in school projects kids take turn every week working in our tuck shop and in the tuck shop we sell snacks and lunches Student council is important because it makes school a fun, enjoyable place and teachers responsibility if you're on student council that year. Student council has made our school a fun place by having a yearly winter formal. It's organized at the St. Joseph's Hall, which is about a 10 minute drive from our school. No jeans are allowed to ensure people come dressed in formal clothes. Tickets are sold about two weeks before the dance. They are $10 per person or $15 per couple. Student Council is in charge of everything from decorations to the food that will be present that night to the entire theme. To raise money, we fundraise by selling chocolate bars. We have about three months to sell them before we take the money back to school. We also do bake sales, money we make off the tuck shop, and the leftover money we didn't spend the previous year. Every second year, our Student Council organizes a sleepover trip, which costs much more money than any day trip. 
Student Council tries to cover about half the cost for the entire trip, which is the hotel, our way of transportation, either a coach bus or a regular school bus, whatever we can afford, dinner, breakfast, lunch is usually not included, so you'll have to bring your own money, and any activities we'll be doing on the trip.